Hello everyone, welcome to the next video in the Terraform series and uh, today we are going to talk about maps, lookups and uh, conditional syntax and just to understand these things I was writing down here these are things that we are going to perform in our visual code and try to understand with the help of uh, this lab exercise where we'll be creating two environment prod and dab with the same code uh, and we'll be creating a resource group and the public IP so that it would be short sweet and crisp I have already written down the code for resource group right here so that I could explain it to you and then we'll create the public IP code together and in the same code we will modify it to understand the conditional syntax so let's do it all right so uh, this is our main.tf file the structure remains the same as we have covered in the other or previous videos of the terraform in the variables.tf we have the variables and var dot subscription id that kind of interpolation we have already covered terraform.tf vars here i have put the values of the subscription id client id client secret tenant id if you want you can put the values that you want to uh, deploy in the terraform tf vars for any variables that we have already covered but today we are going to talk about map and lookup so uh, map is a variable and uh, let me show you for the resource group example that will help you to understand so a variable name is the resource group type is map and default value if dev then dev rg if prod then prod rg that's how you define the map variable but how would you look up in your main code for that you have to use lookup so you know the syntax of interpolation already you need to type lookup and braces var dot resource group that will give you the value of what resource group value of these two then you need to look up how would you look up <coughs> var dot environment so if i deploy this code it will ask what environment and if I choose dev then it will go var dot environment dev then resource group would be dev rg you can see yeah very good so this is what the map and lookup is now to practice it let's create a public IP and uh, we'll look up with the variables variables cool so let's type resource type would be azure rm underscore public underscore ip you have that code in the terraform.io as I've already shared every everything is already been written so you need not to rewrite all the code just you can modify the way you want I just need to show you the lookup and map that's why I'm doing it let's give the name IP now what is important for uh, resource public IP we need to know we need to uh, we need to have name location resource group and allocation method which would be dynamic or static let's type name name is equal to <clears throat> what would be the name remember we need to look up right now let me type name in the variable so that it would be easy for us to look up let me copy this code and paste it right now it says name so let me give this variable a name of as IP underscore name map dev dev would be 
dev underscore public IP three to one. Similarly, similarly, if it is prod, then it would be prod underscore public three to one. Cool. Similarly, we need to have what dynamic and static allocation method. So <clears throat> let's give the name to the variable. Let's give ipcon map. If it is dev, it's dev dynamic, and if it is prod, it should be static. Cool. Let's get back to the main.tf file. Now here we need to look up. Look up what var dot it will give us all the wars that we have already declared we need war dot what was it it was i think ip name it was ip name let's type ip underscore name Then give comma and var dot env environment. All right. Now there is a mistake that I have done. If you can go with the color code, you can figure it out. It should not be like this. It should be white in color because in the interpolation syntax we have dollar here. You can see. All right, so look up what var.ip name. What is this? This is the variable. It will give the information if it is dev or prod. That will be decided with the environment that we choose. Very good. Now let's complete the code. We need location. location now either you can go with the same kind of uh, lookup we have already declared the location in the variables you can see right here or you can go with resource group interpolation that we did in the previous video like azure rm underscore resource group rg it is showing right here we need what we need location location of resource group so whatever the location this resource group belongs to this IP will go inside this resource group because this is calling this resource type resource group cool all right let's go ahead and give resource group name there would be Again, you can choose both ways, the way lookup, or you can choose the way we did for the location. Azure RM, right here, you can see. We need the name of this resource group, so dot name. Cool. Now, the last one is a location method. A location method. allocation underscore method very good now how we want it to be dollar braces we need lookup <clears throat> lookup where in the war section variable which one I Oh, let me check. I forgot. It's ipcon right here. ipcon. Now, how you want it? We want it as per the environment variable. Very good. So, this is how it should be. So, we have covered map and lookup. Now, let's see whether it works for us or not. Let's terraform in it. You might be wondering why I'm not saving each and every file because. I have checked this box under file autosave. Cool. So let's terraform plan. 
let's see what it returns uh, if we have performed our practice absolutely okay or fine or there may be something missing see it's asking for the environment let's choose prod so if we are choosing prod it should ask it should give location west us and ip name prod public 321 and static uh, if i go for the resource it should be prod rg oh there it is it's prod rg we so there it's static we already talked about west us that's how it deploys so that's how you can map and look up now there is one more thing that i want to talk about that is a conditional syntax let's go to main.tf now allocation method is either static or dynamic we can place a condition here and everything is inside these braces let me remove this code and let me type here var dot env whatever is the environment is equal to is equal to let's suppose it's prod it's prod if it's prod then allocation method should be static colon else dynamic so this is another way you can define a condition all right so what it says var dot environment if this condition is prod this argument is prod then if it is true then it is static if it is not then it would be dynamic all right let's try to plan it and understand if it is correct terraform in it no we have already initiated but no worries let's do terraform plan if we have wrote it correct then it should go with the conditional syntax as static or dynamic the environment we will choose let's choose prod let's choose prod we have chosen the prod now everything would remain same but the allocation method says this if this is true then it should be static so we should have static let's check what it says it says static see so this is the conditional syntax this is the condition if this is true then static else dynamic and we have defined the environment in our variables i think i missed to missed that part right here variable environment description environment colon dev or prod that's how you define the environment it could be anything it could be uat qa whatever you want that's how the syntax map lookup and conditional uh, syntax works i hope this would be a learning experience for you uh, thank you for watching let's meet in another video thank you